What's the best video editing software for Windows right now in 2021? Well, here's our roundup of the latest options with our picks for the best video editors in every category, from the best free software to paid and professional options with everything that you need to know to decide what's right for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now video editing software updates and changes so fast that we end up creating videos like this every 12 months for both Mac and Windows. And each time there is a ton of trying and testing to figure out what our top recommendations are. And this year is no different. We've spent a ton of time trying and testing the latest options to share with you what our current recommendations are for best video editing software on Windows. And just like last time, I'm gonna break this overview down into multiple pricing categories, including free, paid, and more professional software so that you can see what's available at each of the levels. You can hear our recommendations. And if you're starting out in one of the lower brackets, then you can know exactly what you'll be unlocking if you do jump to a higher bracket. And while you're watching through, make sure to let me know down in the comments below what video editing software you're using right now and what your number one pick is for best video editing software on Windows in 2021. And once we're done with my recommendations, I'm also gonna share with you three quick editing tips to help you level up your video editing, no matter which software you're using. Okay, so the pricing categories, we're gonna break this down into category number one is free software. That one's pretty self-explanatory. That's all of the free software options out there now. The second category is sub $200, so all video editing software under that $200 price point. Now this will also include free video editing software in here as well, because if you were gonna spend money, you may as well see what your free options are going to be compared to the paid ones as well. And the third category is all video editing software over that $200 price point, but also including free software options as well. So regardless of what you're going to be spending on software, how things stack up to the free options as well. Giving you overall the best video editing software available to you, paid or free in each one of those categories. Now there's one more really important thing I wanna share, and that is in my opinion, there is no perfect solution. There is not one take home winner that is going to be the best piece of video editing software for everyone out there. Video editing software is just a tool to get the job done, a tool to edit your videos down. So what might be the best for you uh, could be something that's totally different to someone else. So when you're going through these, hear out all the options to see which one is going to be the best for you, for the types of videos you're gonna be creating, for your skill set, and for the amount of features and control that you need or may not need. And then my goal for you at the end of this is to shortlist a couple of different options down that fit your needs and where you're at and go and download the trial versions of them and have a play and see which which one is going to be the best fit for you right now. That is the most important piece. Don't just jump in to a piece of software because someone else you saw is using that. If that software is not going to be a fit for you, then it's going to make the whole editing process really, really painful for you. All right, with that out of the way, the first category we're gonna look at is free video editing software. Now in here, we've got software like VSDC, the free version, HitFilm Express, Shotcut, Avid Media Composer First, and DaVinci Resolve. Now from trying and testing all of those, my top three picks go to VSDC Free, HitFilm Express, and DaVinci Resolve. VSDC is a great option. It packs a punch in terms of features, but also it's not gonna overwhelm someone who is at that beginner level. It's got a pretty intuitive interface, so even if you've never edited before, you'll be able to get up to speed relatively quickly figuring out where everything is, but also you're not gonna be limited in your creativity because of all the features and stuff that's in there. There is a paid or a pro version available as well, which does unlock more advanced features, but most of the core functionality you actually get access to in just the free version. HitFilm Express is another great option with again, a fairly intuitive interface. I'd say that compared to VSDC, HitFilm's probably got a more intuitive, easier to use interface, but HitFilm Express is also not just for video editing. It's also got a ton of extra functionality built in for motion graphics and special effects and those sorts of things as well. Now in terms of actual video editing, a lot of the core functionality that you will need is unlocked and available to use inside of HitFilm Express. 
paying to upgrade to the pro version is obviously where you can unlock everything. Or I really like that they've given you the option here to pay to unlock certain features or certain functions, just the ones that you're going to need instead of paying for the full amount for the pro version. So you might find the HitFilm Express does everything that you want. And if you want some of those additional features, you can just pay for the ones that you want, or you've got the option to unlock all of them in the pro version. But even just the free version as a video editor, it's a super powerful option. And the third one, DaVinci Resolve, is hands down the most professional, most advanced video editing software out there for free. And in some cases, it's actually a lot more powerful than a lot of the paid options that are out there as well. So it's ridiculous what they are giving you access to for free with DaVinci Resolve. This is actual professional grade software that people are using to create Hollywood movies and documentaries and those sorts of things. Now in terms of usability, this definitely isn't the most intuitive interface. There is going to be a learning curve for you to get up to speed using Resolve, especially if you're someone that may not have edited before. So what we find is that a lot of people hear that this is a great option and they'll dive in and they are just overwhelmed. Now we do have a tutorial taking you through how to edit and how to get up to speed in DaVinci Resolve. I'll link that up in the cards. But really, if you're someone who is looking for all of those advanced features, controls, and professional tools, then you really can't go wrong with DaVinci Resolve. Now, one thing to be aware of with DaVinci Resolve is it's probably not gonna work too well if you do have an older computer. It is very resource hungry. It does like the newer, more powerful computers for it to be able to run well. So if that's you, if you've got an older computer, then Resolve may not be the best option for you. So rounding these out, if you're an absolute beginner, never edited before, right through to someone sort of at that intermediate level, then I would say that either VSDC or HitFilm are probably going to be the ones for you. I'd say that most people probably gonna end up resonating more with VSDC, unless you are someone that does need access or want access to some of those more advanced features in terms of special effects and motion graphics. And for those of you that are at that intermediate to advanced level, or someone that's maybe at the beginner level, but wanting to learn and to practice on really industry standard software, then that's where DaVinci Resolve is going to take the cake. So from all of those, if I had to pick one winner, it is gonna go hands down to DaVinci Resolve. It is ridiculous what you're getting access to. All the tools and functionality in there, literally professional grade software for free. So. Yeah, DaVinci Resolve takes out the free category. Okay, now we're gonna jump into the next category, which is the sub $200 category, all video editing software under the $200 price point. And yes, again, this includes free software options as well. Now, typically what you would find in this category when you're actually paying for software instead of the free options is that you're unlocking more features, more functionality, more performance, and in a lot of cases, a better, more intuitive interface. But I have to say typically, because some of the free options are absolutely amazing and they do beat out a lot of the paid options. So in this category, we've got software like AVS Video Editor, VSDC, the Pro version, Adobe Premiere Rush, Mov AVI Plus, Filmora, Wii Video, Vegas Movie Studio 16, Magix Movie Edit Pro, Adobe Premiere Elements, Cyberlink Power Director, Filmora Pro, and Lightworks Pro. Now from trying and testing all of these, my top three in this category go to Wii Video, Filmora, and DaVinci Resolve. Wii Video is a really powerful video editing solution that's a little different to a lot of the others because this one, you actually don't need to download and install anything on your computer. It literally runs in the cloud, it runs in your web browser so that you don't need to have a super powerful computer. It also means that you can easily move between different computers or even work with team members remotely or editors remotely without needing to move all of your video footage or all of your editing projects. Once it's uploaded into Wii Video, anyone you give access to can help you work on those projects. Now, when I first used Wii Video, I was totally blown away with how easy it is. It's got an amazing, really easy to use interface, but also how powerful it is and how easy it makes even editing 4K footage, which a lot of computers and a lot of programs struggle with. And one of the other cool features with Wii Video is that you don't need to wait for your files to upload to their platform before you can start using them and editing them in your project. You can actually start work and using those files while they upload in the background. Now, in terms of pricing, there's a few different options, but I'd say the ones that most people are probably gonna fall into will be the unlimited plan at $7.99 per month. Or for $17.99 per month on the professional plan, you can unlock a ton of video assets and stock footage and music and things in your subscription as well. Now, Filmora is another one that not that long ago, I never thought that I would be recommending and saying how awesome it is. 
it has come a long way and is now a great option for video editing. It's got a really clean, easy to use interface and it packs in a ton of features that you normally only find in more professional video editing software as well. So an example of that is the color correction tools and the overall timeline editing performance and editing tools that you have access to. It's really awesome to see them integrated into Filmora at this level. Now in terms of pricing, you can either purchase Filmora outright as a one-time fee for $69.99, or you can jump on an annual subscription for $39.99, which will continue to get you access to upgrades when they come out. So rounding out this sub $200 category, if you're someone who is using an older computer or a computer that's not too powerful, or you're someone who's looking to edit in the cloud and work remotely with editors easily, then that's where WeVideo is going to win hands down. It's gonna be great if you're someone right from absolute beginner through to that intermediate level, because it does have a really intuitive interface, it's gonna be easy to get up to speed and editing in there. And likewise with Filmora, that's also gonna suit anyone at that absolute beginner level right through to intermediate, someone who doesn't need all the advanced features and controls, but someone who is just looking for a great all-rounder, a good mix of intuitive, easy to use interface, powerful video editor with a great feature set that is gonna serve most people out there. And then again, for anyone that is looking for those more advanced features and controls, the professional stuff, the professional level software, that's where it again goes hands down to DaVinci Resolve. But know that it doesn't have an easy to use intuitive interface, so it will have a learning curve for you to get up to speed in there. Now again, for this category, if I had to pick one winner, it's again gonna go to DaVinci Resolve. It is just insane what they're giving you access to for free. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but if you're someone who is serious about editing professionally or editing and having access to professional grade features, then DaVinci Resolve is an amazing offering for free. And that brings us then to the third category for $200 plus video editing software. Now, to be fair in this category, if you were going to spend more than $200 on video editing software, you also have the option to spend less than $200 or to access free software as well. So in this category, not only have we opened this up to all video editing software above $200, it's also gonna include all video editing software under $200 as well. So that you can leave watching these recommendations knowing that you have the best one for you, regardless of what you're spending. Now again, typically in this $200 plus pricing category, this is where you would be accessing professional grade software, the most advanced features, the most functionality, the latest and greatest and most powerful stuff when it comes to video editing. But as you've seen, there are a few outliers like DaVinci Resolve that pack a punch for free. So in this category, we've got software like HitFilm Pro, Camtasia, Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid version, Magix Video Pro X, Vegas Pro, and Edius. And from once again, trying and testing all of those options, my top picks go to WeVideo, Filmora, Adobe Premiere, and DaVinci Resolve. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro is probably one of the most popular video editing applications out there right now. It'll work on both Mac and PC, and this is something that is used for top-level productions, right down to people editing their YouTube videos. There is a ton of features and functionality and effects and tools and everything in here, professional grade stuff. But I will say it's actually implemented in a fairly user-friendly way. In terms of interface, it's not gonna be as easy for a beginner to jump in as it would be with something like Filmora or Wii Video. But I do prefer the overall interface and usability in Premiere when comparing it to Resolve. Now in terms of pricing, you can only access Adobe Premiere on a subscription basis. So you can either pay $20.99 for just Adobe Premiere per month, or you can get access to Adobe Premiere as part of the Adobe Master Suite. So accessing all of the Adobe products for $52.99 per month. Now that's one of the standout things for me with Premiere is how well it works and how well it integrates with the rest of the Adobe programs. So bringing in graphics and things from Photoshop or working with graphics and animations inside of After Effects is literally all drag and drop. It's literally all seamless integration, which just works so well. All right, so rounding out this category of essentially best video editing software on Windows, irrespective of the cost. I would say if you're an absolute beginner, right through to an intermediate level, WeVideo is going to be a great option for you, especially if you're someone that's using a low powered computer or someone who wants to work with teams and collaborate easily in the cloud, then WeVideo is a great option for that. 
Filmora will be a great option for someone again at that absolute beginner level right through to intermediate or to someone that's looking just to edit fast without necessarily need to get bogged down in an overwhelming interface or need access to more advanced features and controls. And for those of you then at that intermediate to advanced level, people who are looking for the most amount of professional grade features, literally professional tools for editing video, then it is gonna come down to DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, ideally what I'm recommending here is that you're having a play with both. So you can download the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You can download the trial version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Links are in the description below. And just seeing which one is going to tick more of the boxes for you based on where you're currently at and your skill level, the types of video videos you want to make and also which one is the most intuitive and easiest for you to get up to speed and using. Now if I was to pick one winner from this category, best video editing software on Windows in 2021, it is still gonna to go to Adobe Premiere Pro. I really love the interface, I really love how well it integrates with the rest of the Adobe programs and ecosystem, how easy it is to link your projects with Adobe After Effects and Photoshop, but also to work with people who are remote and work with teams that are, are in different countries. Premiere makes that really easy as well. So even though DaVinci Resolve is such an amazing offering and it's free, which is ridiculous, my number one pick is still Adobe Premiere Pro. Who knows where this will end up next year. The rate that they are implementing and growing DaVinci Resolve is again, amazing. So I'm um, looking forward to see what happens next. Now, earlier in the video, I said I'd also share with you three quick tips to help you edit faster in any video editing application. So tip number one is to learn some of the keyboard shortcuts. This is something that over time is going to speed up your editing dramatically. Most video editing programs out there have keyboard shortcuts that will actually do multiple things with just a single key press to save you clicking and dragging your mouse or your trackpad around, you're gonna be able to perform things much faster. So to figure out some of the keyboard shortcuts in your application, you can usually just go up to help and then find the keyboard shortcuts in there or just a simple Google search for your video editing software and keyboard shortcuts. Tip number two is to not waste time creating everything custom from scratch. There are amazing websites like Placeit and Video Hive where you can download and customize up amazing video intros and titles and graphics and things for your videos. So this will save you an absolute ton of time and make your videos look really good. And tip number three is to fix the colors in your video last. We see so many people that just jump straight in. They're putting all these filters and grades and tweaking and adjusting the look of their video before they've actually gone through the process of editing it down. What if you went through that process, you wasted a ton of time making it look good and something was missing. You didn't have a usable video at the end of the day. So save your sanity, save the color correction until last, focus on cutting down the content of the video first then make it look good afterwards. This will also make your editing faster because your computer won't need to be processing all of those color adjustments while you're editing. Just save it till the end. Now those are just three tips from our full video editing process guide, the Primal Video Method, which takes you through the most efficient way to edit your videos down with minimal wasted time and rework. You can grab your copy free with the link on screen and below in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.